Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. Merry Shave Mask. It's day eight in the 12 Shades of Christmas featuring the Phoenix Shaving Advent Calendar. Let's open up door eight and see what we're going to be shaving with today. Here's door number eight right here. Let's check it out right now as we open up door number eight. There's the aftershave. There's the shave soap. And here is the informational card that comes with it. Rabbit Fighter. <laughs> Check that out. Rabbit Fighter. Okay, let me, I'll give you a look at the, uh, oh, this artwork is great. Check out that artwork right away. <laughs> That's marvelous. That's marvelous. All right, we're going to put the uh, information on screen and you can read along as we find out what is Rabbit Fighter. Rabbit Fighter yet to be released pending on your feedback. Scent profile, vetiver, Haiti, cypress, patchouli, tonka bean, musk, and a kiss of ozone. Spicy, musky, metallic, camphorous, herbaceous, green and glittery, woody, earthy, and brash. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, if I could choose a superpower for myself, it would be the ability to smell the future. Sometimes I like to release scents that try to encapsulate just that, and rabbit fight, I believe, is one of them. To me, Rabbit Fighter is the scent of pure science fiction, meaning if futuristic fantasy was a category of fragrance in the world perfuming, this would be it. I've, <laughs> I've smelt the future and I call the Rabbit Fighter. Uh, this is also a tip of the top hat to Mark Bolin and Trex. Fun fact, I was once called the Mark Bolin of shaving. I never really knew what they meant but I'll take it. <laughs> well, there you go again. Rabbit, rabbit fighter right there. Rabbit fighter. And again, we're going to have a look at the uh, artwork one more time. That really is <laughs> terrific, terrific artwork. And let's, let's just sample the scent a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, that is, that is, well, he says, yeah, it's everything there. It, it does have that cypress, the tonka bean, the musk, yeah, it is herbaceous. It is green. Yeah, it really it's it's got a it's got a kind of like a, a a fresh kind of masculine kind of scent. Yeah, rabbit, rabbit fighter. Yeah, day eight. All right, let's get to the shave den. Let's have a shave. All right, there it is, rabbit fighter. We're gonna have a shave with it. Really, really terrific, terrific scent. Oh yeah, very fresh. Yeah, I can get that uh, that musk in there, and the uh, yeah, it's, it does have a, like a musky metallic. Yeah, yeah, I I get the herbaceous and the green and the and the glittery. A little woody, a little yeah, yeah. It, uh, they they use the word brash. Yes, I think that kind of captures that. We're gonna go ahead and have a shade with it, and uh, once more, we're gonna use the uh, large thirty ounce John from shave bowl right there. Yeah, with the uh, lather disc in there. We're just gonna dump that water in there like that. So the bowl's got a little bit of heat in there. Here is my uh, Phoenix shaving guitar pick right here, and we're gonna go ahead and get about that much right there and we're going to place that in the bottom of the uh, bowl here right on top of that lather disc yeah i'm going to use my atomic rocket shaving brush uh, i've already had a, a pre-shave wash with the cube 2.0 the mentholated version and i also have used a hot towel and uh, after I used the hot towel, I put the cap back. <laughs> I put the Santa hat back on. Okay. And we're just putting that in there like that. I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to wipe this little remnant off of my hands here. Okay. So we have, uh, we have some right there in the bottom there, like that. Okay. All right. So here is my uh, Tonic Rocket shave brush. I gave it a good ring there, so I'm probably going to need to put some more water in there. Okay, there we go. That clanging was my fault. This thing's huge. It shouldn't be clanging. <laughs> yeah, man, that's marvelous. Look at that. Look how big that is. All right, I need some water. 
That's what I need. I need some water just to kind of get that little more water. Yeah, I wrung out too much. That's why I wrung out too much. That's fabulous. Yeah, we're getting a good lather here. Oh yeah, that's nice. I detect, well, I want to say a slight powder note, but you know what? Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it is a nice scent. It's, it, it's all the things that were included in the description. And of course, this is yet to be released. It's uh, pending feedback. So if you have this one, I mean, if you're shaving along this morning and you open this one up and you used it, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. I think it has a, a rather fresh, earthy kind of scent. I'm definitely getting the herbaceous and the, um, the green kind of scent notes from it. I don't think I'm getting as spicy a note as in the description, but again, you know, that's my first impression. It is, it's more on the fresh side is what I'm saying. And I think the scent is, it doesn't hit you over the head. It's more of a subtle scent. It's more refined. It is not a loud scent. Let me put it to you that way. It's just not loud. It's more subdued. It's more in the background. Yeah, I would say uh, earthy is a, is a way of uh, expressing it. Now, when they say a kiss of ozone, I, I'm kind of getting that too. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that vibe from it. And look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Boom! Leather! Yeah! <laughs> we are ready. We are ready, 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 ready to go. Let me set that down there. Let me wipe off my hands just a little bit. And uh, you know what? Let's take care. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's take care of this right here. There we go. All right, we're all set. Uh, let me get my uh, face, a little water on my face, and we're going to do my uh, pre-shave lather with the Cube 2.0. Just a little bit of water. And Rabbit Fighter. <laughs> what, a great, what a great name. All right. Okay. This is the mentholated version of the Cube 2.0. I think I have another mentholated version in the wings. I also have the non-mentholated, but you know, I've been kind of switching back and forth. I, I prefer the mentholated version. I really do. I came back to it. I gotta have that. That little bit of menthol. That really is good stuff. All right, so here we go. Man, we got a lot of nice lather here. Oh, that's terrific. Look at that. Look at that lather. And I, you know, I mentioned this in a, in a previous uh, 12 shades of Christmas shave in using the John Frum lathering bowl, the 30 ounce John Frum lathering bowl. You know, it's a matter of perspective. Uh, you don't think there's a lot of lather there, because the bowl is so large, but there's a lot of lather in there. When you, when you pull it out and then you actually see it on your brush, you realize, man, it's a, <laughs> a lot of lather there. So I've been using this bowl and I have been really enjoying it a lot. Okay. Look at that. I mean, there's a, there you, you can, I mean, there is a lot of lather in there. The size of the bowl just accommodates it. What's nice is it doesn't overflow. It just stays right there in the bowl. And that little bit of clanging was uh, was my fault. That's That shouldn't be because the thing's so large. My gosh. Uh, we're going to be using my Phoenix Shaving Copper Ascension uh, double, double, uh, <laughs> double Open Comb Twist Adjustable Safety Razor. Let me say that again. The Phoenix Shaving Copper Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable Razor. There you go. And uh, we're going to open that up. I have one day's worth of beard goes through. I'm not going to go a full quarter turn. I'm probably going to go maybe an eighth of a turn like that for pass number one. And we are going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water because I want that copper to heat up. 
I want a nice warm razor shave. It's like having a heated razor for the shave. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take the, uh, the lid here for uh, Rabbit Fighter and I'm just going to set it on top of that container and just screw it down a little bit so the water doesn't splash in there. All right. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Ooh, that's good and hot. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got to drain the sink just a little bit while I'm doing that because a lot of water in the sink. I think it was that, sh <laughs> that shave bowl, believe it or not, when I dumped that water in, it's a lot of water there. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's a warm razor. Ooh, man. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that really retains a lot of heat. Oh, that's nice. Handle is nice and warm, too. Man, that's fantastic. Did I tell you what blade I'm using? I didn't. I'm using a Derby Usta blade. These came from viewer Chuck Summer. And uh, my thanks to Chuck Summer for sending these in. The Derby Usta blade. Boy, these are nice. Uh, they feel terrific in this razor. They really do. Boy, that's, that's terrific. That is really terrific. It's a good sharp blade. That's, that's, that's really, really nice. And the water in the sink, a little warmer than I want for, uh, a rinse. So I'm going to flip it to the cold side. I'm going to add a little cold water to that before I rinse off. No wonder the razor stays so warm, huh? That's got it. Yeah, you don't want hot, 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 hot water for your shave. Warm water. Nice warm water. You don't want hot, hot water. Warm water. All right. Uh, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Nice first pass. I'm in socially acceptable shave territory. Look how much lather I've got here. <laughs> Look how much lather I've got. I, I was thinking that maybe this lathering bowl is too big to handle, but I'm handling it just fine. Now, if you have smaller hands, you will have a problem with it. But me, I'm not, I'm, I'm not having any kind of difficulty with it. Of course, it's got a no, it's got a no, uh, uh, an anti slipping back and not, what do they call that again? And uh, no slip back right here. Uh, forget the exact anti slip back, I think is what it's called. So you can set this on the counter and it will not move. And you can build your lather right there in the bowl on the counter. It's not going to move as you agitate the brush in there. I did it one-handed in a previous uh, video and uh, it did not move. Just kind of gripped the counter. Okay, there we go. All righty. Okay, I am going to, you know, I'm going to drain that sink a little more and I'm going to Run this under some more hot water here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Right there. That's all I need right there. All right. Going to get a nice warm razor again. Nice heated razor. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. You know what? I'm going to snug it up all the way. Okay, we're snugged up all the way now. We're at, we're at the razor's mildest point. That's nice. That's all I need, really, because I only have one day's worth of beard growth here. Nice warm razor. Very nice.
some nice residual slickness. like this razor a lot. First of all, you can heat it up so you get a heated razor. Uh, the twist adjustability, you can make it a little more aggressive, a little more mild on the fly very, very easily. And for me, keeping it on the mild side has been a real treat. The use of the blade is very, very nice. It's a nice sharp blade, and it's given me a, a really nice performance. I had something going on there a couple of days ago. It doesn't seem to be aggravated at all. This CK6, uh, the razor, and the blade did a really, really nice job. Um, this shave is done. I can tell the shave is done. I'm going to do my two final rinses, and then we'll get right to the owl block. Oh, that's really nice. Really refreshing. Cold water rinse, clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, that's terrific. Nice, refreshing uh, shade. And again, the scent, I, I'm getting more of the scent post shave than I am during the shave. Very nice. Again, very refined, very subtle. Um, you know, herbaceous green, glittery. I get the woodsy. I definitely get the earthy, but it's not really a hard organic earthy. It's more of a fresh earthy kind of scent. I like it. This is this is a nice scent if you don't want to have something on that's overpowering. It's a really nice refined scent. I like it a lot. I really do. It's very very good. Uh, I don't think it's it's. Um, as potent as some of the other scents I've used, uh, such as Dyer Down, John Frum, some of the others that we've reviewed during the 12 Shades of Christmas, but it's a nice, refined, subdued, gentlemanly kind of scent that is perfect for all occasions. And again, it's not going to get into the room before you do. That's the way it impresses me. Almost jump to the uh, aftershave splash before the alum block. That's how good the post-shave feel is. Uh, really, 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 really terrific. Uh, okay, so here's the uh, Allen Block, the solid Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving. Still haven't put that, <laughs> that no slip grip on there. I got to do that. I'll have to do it after this shave. I got to remind myself to do it. All right, running on the cold salt under some cold water. Let's get some feedback. Oh, that's nice and smooth. No zinging. No stinging. No zinging. It's a nice, smooth shave. Really, that was terrific. And again, as I'm doing this, I am getting the, uh, I'm getting more of the scent. It must be, some of it must be coming from the lathering bowl right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is terrific. That's terrific. That really is. And look at how much lather I have here. Look at that lather. Look at that. I mean, look how much I have. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. A really, really nice, nice uh, scent. Very, very nice scent. Um, Rabbit Fighter, I would expect something to be a little more, you know, a little more oomph, have a little more oomph. That it, it, This doesn't have that kind of overpowering scent to me. It is a little more subdued, a little more subtle. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, use some of the aftershave. Probably shouldn't have... <laughs> Probably shouldn't have shook it, but you know. All right, here we go. We're gonna put some on here. Okay, we're gonna Jimmy V method. Let that air out a little bit. Let that alcohol evaporate. This is nice now. Yeah, that's a little more so than the shave soap. Yeah, that's nice. Let me put it this way: uh, the uh, the shave soap is a little more subtle in scent. And this will give you a little bit of increase from that point. Uh, it really, that's nice. And still, it's not going to get into the room before you do. It's really, really nice and subtle. It'll kind of be in the background. Uh, that's It's terrific. It really is. Uh, I like this one a lot. My gosh, that's really terrific. All right. Great, great shave uh, from uh, Phoenix Shaving Advent Calendar. Again, here it is.
Rabbit Fighter. My gosh, this is a really, really good one. Check it out. Uh, if you used it today, please comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, is my assessment uh, on par with uh, how you felt about how how you experienced this particular shave soap and shave scent? I like it. Of course, I love the CK6 performance, but I found the scent to be more refined, more gentlemanly, more subdued, a little bit more in the background, and I'm definitely getting that. I definitely got the herbaceous green, woody, earthy kind of thing with that little bit of ozone. I really, to be honest with you, I really didn't get the spicy part of it. I don't know where that is. You know what? Second or third use, it might come out. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but uh, I'm, hey, the information says it's in there. Maybe it's not in there to uh, where I can detect it immediately. Maybe it's going to. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to shave with this a couple more times to really bring that out. Uh, but yeah, overall, a really, really terrific scent. I like it a lot. And again, let me give you the scent notes again: vetiver, Haiti, cypress, patchouli, tonka bean, musk, and a kiss of ozone. Spicy, musky, metallic. Camphorous, herbaceous, green and glittery, woodsy, woody, earthy, and brash. Brashes, brash is there, but I'm saying brash in a refined kind of way. The spiciness of it, I, I'm not. I'm getting, I'm getting more herbaceous, earthy, woody. Definitely getting that little kiss of ozone there. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I like it a lot. I think it's refined and gentlemanly. Uh, but you know what? I'm looking forward to shaving with shaving with this again. That's how much I like it. And I want to explore the scent notes a little more because there's a lot going on in there. And maybe I'm not picking up everything on first use. Again, if you use this for your shave today, please comment below. Let me know if you're on par with uh, my assessment of it. All right, that's it. The 12 Shaves of Christmas featuring the Phoenix Shaving Advent Calendar. We're going to do it again tomorrow, so I'll see you again real soon.